My wife is distraught and has refused to accept the facts of the situation. I suppose her reaction is common to the bereaved. She cannot accept that the old realities are done with now, that I have no heat in my bones to lend her now. She rants like a madwoman. She refuses to accept the pure state of my absence. She will not accept that I am no longer here. I can only hope that time will do its patient work on her now, as they always insisted will. Word will have got around of my demise, and they will know it's a spirit they have seen, or sensed, or a cipher, or a ghost, for I could be nothing else now, and no other, for I have passed on, and I throw no shadow in the white winter sun. These are the streets of our lives and our Saturdays, as though we are a confluence at the centre of the universe. What arrogant poor fools! And I walk on, as always I walked on, and as ever I am drawn to the water. The occult places are where the rivers enter the sea, and I walk now by the mesmerising roar of the black water, and I am drawn along the same old pathway again, tang of sea, and I walk into the salt wind and into the light. I am there, and I am not there. I have become water, wind, light.